most important election that we have ever had in the history, possibly the history of Chicago politics, Fuzzy. When I was a young boy in 1983, we had the election that brought Harold Washington to our seat as mayor in the city of Chicago. That is the last time it's been said that that is the last time that we've had really a, a, an election here that really meant so much to so many people. So this time around, not only do we have a mayor that's being replaced after 23 years of service, but we have, they say, up to 20 automatic seats might be changed over. We got again two of those automatic candidates that are here tonight, Brian Sleep and Federico Chimarella, that are here tonight with us. But we also have a man with us tonight, Fuzzy, that started his political career helping out the great, late, great Harold Washington. Yes. He was, worked with a man in hand. He was the first Latino senator in the state of Illinois. Yes. And I'm just going to read it down for you. For 20 years. In 1986, he was elected to the state senate as the first Latino state senator. He rose to the assistant majority leader, became the chairman of the Senate Education Committee, and was the first non-black member yes. of the Illinois Legislative For Black 15 Caucus. 15 years, right? 15 years. Now, 20 years, actually. Yes. Uh, all that, 20 years later, yes. 2006, he became city clerk of Chicago, yes. got appointed, and then got elected to that position. Mm -hmm. And now he has decided to take the second highest ranking office in the city of Chicago and convert that into the highest position. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you endorse him whether you support him or not, you have to give him your ear. Because he came here tonight to make sure that we get an opportunity to know what he's about, mm -hmm. who he is, what he stands for, what his work is now that he's doing on your behalf that you may not even be aware of. So before you jump on the Ron bus, before you jump on the Chico bus, you got to make sure that you know what bus you need to be riding on. You need to know what it says on the yes. front. If you're going downtown, does it, but does it say Randolph Street or do it say Michigan? What, what does it say? But you got to make sure you know and don't let the news define it for you. He came here tonight of his own time to define himself for you. And he's a busy man. And a very busy man. But he came out here tonight to define himself for you. So no matter what your position is, I want you to put your hands in position to give a great round of applause for Mr. Miguel Del Valle. The Dallas City Club of Chicago and candidate for mayor for the city of Chicago. Now, to kind of to kind of set the stage for this, everybody, I want you all to know we have a microphone back here where we are going to take questions. If anybody has a question for him once we uh, finish our initial talk here. And, and so you, you're, you're running for mayor, you've been servicing the city obviously very well, uh, I think most would agree, as city clerk. A lot of wonderful things have been happening in Chicago. So elaborate a little bit on what your job is and we can deal with that first as city clerk and, and, the, and the wonderful work yes. you've done. Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity, and I've learned quite a bit about nutrition here tonight. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'm going to get some of those supplements. All right, that's what okay, we need. So I, I really uh, appreciate the opportunity. I'm so impressed with, with what you're doing here tonight, the, the networking that takes place. Uh, the future of the city of Chicago should be in your hands. The future of the city of Chicago should not be in the hands of, of millionaires out of Hollywood and out of Wall Street. It right. should be in the hands of young entrepreneurs, business, businesses in our neighborhoods, people from our neighborhoods throughout the city of Chicago. They're the ones who should decide this historic election. And I am the city clerk. I've been the city clerk for four years. And it's a, an office that comes into contact with a lot of folks, whether you're getting your residential parking right. passes or you're getting a passport or your vehicle sticker. But another important function of the city clerk's office is we're the official keepers of the record of the legislative branch of government. And so one of the things I set out to do from the very beginning was to increase transparency and to bring government, city government, closer to the people of the city of Chicago. And we've done that. We put the legislative process online. That's correct. You can search for any ordinance that's been filed and 
You can go to our website and find out exactly what your alderman has filed and keep track of that ordinance and find out exactly what the status is at any given time of, of those ordinances. That's right. And then we put the city council meetings online with a webcast. And then we created an archive of city council meetings. And so you can go back and search, and if you're interested in a particular ordinance that went through the finance committee, for example, and you want to find out what was said on the floor, you can go to those archives right in the comfort of your own home. This is something that we should have done decades ago in the city of Chicago. But when I came to the clerk's office, I found that we were antiquated. It was almost embarrassing to talk to clerks from other parts of the state that wondered why Chicago was so far behind. And so we still have a lot of archaic practices in city government that have to change. And so what I am proposing is that the same thing that we've done for the city clerk's office, where we've modernized it and we've used technology, and we established an electronic document management system to do these things, that we also do these for every city department in the city of Chicago. And folks, that we open things up so that you are able to compete. You know, you shouldn't need to pay a high-priced lobbyist to compete for a contract with the city of Chicago. Oh, yeah. That, is, All right. that should not be the case. Right. And we thank you for modernizing that. I read where, where you were uh, instrumental in the modernization of our city government platform. A lot of us, we used to go to traffic court, for instance, years ago, saw domestic used to be at 321 North LaSalle when it was there. They fixed that system. They changed it a lot. It's a lot easier to do that. And so it's similar. If you have a business license or are looking for a business license, that's your area as well, right? And that speaks directly to what's going on in this audience. We distribute the business licenses, and it is important, and I think you know this better than I do. All of you in business know that, that Chicago is a big business-friendly city. That's why downtown has grown and is doing so well. And that's fine. We want big businesses to thrive because they're the economic engine in the central business district of this great city of ours. But the fact of the matter is that we're not a small business friendly city. You know, we, we, we really in, at times even harass small businesses. People who are trying to get, get by and, and inspectors left and right and fines and, and hassles and trying to get your required permits. Um, we have to change that. For example, just getting a sign or an awning over your store is something that requires you to file an ordinance through your alderman and it takes a couple months. Something that should be a simple administrative procedure that alderman can sign off on. You know, we do have electronic signatures these days. It can be done very easily and very quickly and efficiently right. because for a small business, each day means dollars. That's right. And, and the longer That's right. it takes for you to get going, the harder it is. That's right. And so we've got to become a small business friendly city. And my goal is to do that and to open things up so that people in the neighborhoods can create the businesses that are going to create the jobs because that's where future jobs are going to come from in the city of Chicago, from small business development throughout the entire city. All right.